This is the Southern Railway 4501, and it's a 282 Mikado type MS class steam locomotive built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works in 1911. And right now it's about 110 years old, and it was originally used to pull freight trains for Southern Railway, but now it's used uh, as an excursion train by Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum who owns it right now, and they also were part of the Norfolk Southern 21st Century Steam Program for a period of time, not anymore. And then right over here, this is the Louisville and Nashville J3 class number 1593. And uh, what they did for this one is that they uh, kind of disguised uh, 4501 as an LN just to see like what that would be like. So um, they actually made uh, the headlight bigger they turn the white stripes into black. So see, that's different. They also added uh, this like more golden, more yellow colored whistle here as compared to that one. And they changed the number, of course. They added L and N here. Added some more numbers here in the back. The numbers here are the tender. They're actually bigger than the other one. And they also added this Hollywood dust as a Deadpool who commissioned this build uh, said. So there's like some white streaks around here. So we just made it like a little subtle color difference. And uh, this has a little bit of an interior if you look into it. Uh, both of these, they have like pretty much the same interior looks like this. So both of these builds were commissioned by Deadpool2438. So thanks to him for making this video possible. Now, it's not even the first time uh, someone's commissioned 4501. Back in 2017 of August, which is funny because right now I'm recording this in August as well, Catch a Train Rail Fan Productions, he commissioned this four years ago. So you can see the difference between four years ago versus today. You can see I, it just looks like a totally different build right now. Um, it's a lot taller, of course, and it's more properly scaled. I actually got like a diagram of like uh, the measurements are between the wheels, so that was quite helpful. And also the height, you can see it's a lot taller. This one looks shrunken down compared to this one, and it's just a lot more accurate for this one. So I hope you guys enjoy the new design, and let's get started. So first off, let's grab some materials. I'm going to take out a polished blackstone brick stairs and slab, as well as black concrete, dark oak fence gate, um, slab, and uh, let's see, trap door, a gray concrete, black stone button, and iron trap door. Now if you do want to reskin it to the LNN, I'll show you that at the end of the video. Right now we're just building the Southern Railway 4501. So let's place down um, polished black stone brick stairs, just two blocks wide. Dark oak slab here in the middle. And then behind it, we'll add in uh, two blocks wide, polished blackstone uh, brick slabs, and then a stairs at the edge. Then we'll add in a trap door right over here in the front, and we'll close that up like so. Behind, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate over here, open that up, a gray concrete, and a blackstone button on top. All right. Then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate inside for the axle and another fence gate on top of that. Open that up towards the back. And then we'll go down here, add in two blocks long, dark oak fence gate. And then inside, uh, let's add in black concrete. We're going to make it uh, two by three so it sticks out like this. And then we'll add in polished black stone brick slabs here, two blocks wide underneath. And then we'll add in a polished black stone brick slab here stone button in front of the cylinder and then two blocks wide of polished blackstone brick stairs here the front's going to be cornered and we'll add in a dark oak fence gate on top of the stairs open that up towards the back upside down stairs behind it another fence gate open that up towards the back all right so next up let's add in um, iron trap doors top of this just make it two blocks wide just like that and then to the side here, we'll add in black glass pane, just two blocks tall. And dark oak fence gate here to the side and open that up towards the inside. Next, we'll add in black stone brick stairs on top. This right here behind the trap door. And another brick fence behind, I mean, to the side. And behind this will be a black concrete. And then we'll add in Sayan terracotta on top of this iron trap door. We're going to make it three blocks tall. We're going to add one here in the middle. I'm going to make it three blocks long, 
just like that. Add another one here in the middle on top. Then to this corner here, we'll add in stone brick stairs, the top and the bottom. Now in the front, we'll add in a black stone brick slab there, item frame with a yellow glass pane inside of it. And underneath this lamp, there's going to be an acacia trap door. Let's also add in stone buns, so we're going to add in two here. And then a skeleton skull. I'm going to make that face towards the smokestack, just like that. Alright, so next we'll take out black concrete. I'm going to add that behind. I'm going to make it 14 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Once we reach that 14 point, we're going to add another one on top. And then we're going to make it 3 blocks long. All right, and then we're going to add to the side of this, just a black concrete, another two blocks tall here. At the top part, three blocks long again. And then we'll add in polished black stone brick slab. We're going to make a two by two here in the back. And then we're going to add a line, a line across right here. It's going to be, I guess, five blocks wide for the cab roof. Then here on the edge, we'll add in black concrete. Uh, three blocks tall, so one, two, three. And add here at the bottom, two blocks long here. And then polished black stone brick slabs, two blocks wide, the bottom and on top. Then we'll add in three blocks tall of these dark oak trap doors. So it's going to be one, two, three like that. Next up, we'll add in iron trap door underneath. And we're going to make it three blocks like that, and another one sticking out. <laughs> Alright, so next up we'll add in um, another brick fence right in front of the cab, right there on top. And then a polished blackstone brick slab, skip a block, I mean skip two blocks, add in another one. Then we're going to skip four blocks, and add in so it's two blocks wide like that. And then add in a black concrete underneath this slab and a dark oak fence gate right to the side. Open that up. All right, so the rest of this layer here, it's going to be polished blackstone brick stairs all the way across the boiler to the front. And then the layer underneath that's just going to be a black concrete all the way across just like that. And then we'll add in uh, these chains. So this chain's gonna pretty much go um, in front all the way across to front. Okay, <laughs> that sounded weird. No, the front of the cab all the way to where the smoke box ends like that. And then we're gonna add another chain so it goes vertically down just like that. And then we'll go back here to the cab and we'll delete this because we'll need that red door banner. Alright, so to make the banner, we'll go inside our loom and put in red dye with black banner. Make a red dye border around it, put it back in, and then we're going to make it go across the bottom row of it. And that's it. We'll just put that in front of the cab like that. Very nice so far. Alright, so next we'll go in front of the cab and we'll go here in the middle. And we'll add in three blocks long and a sight. And we're going to make this go in the middle, so it's going to be two blocks wide. And then we'll go down below, skip a block, and then add in another 2x2 two two and a site. Then we'll add another and a site uh, block here in the middle, and then an and a site slab, just like that. Next, we'll go on the inside of this and add in acacia trap doors alongside this front window. And we'll close them both up, just like that. Add in an oak button underneath, right here in the middle of the cab, like so. Then we'll go on the roof, we'll add in um, blackstone uh, pressure plate here in the middle and a blackstone button behind it and then a 2x2 two two black carpet in this back end like so. Alright, so next we'll go underneath this anisite here in the middle, add a black concrete like that and, the, and a polished blackstone brick slab underneath like so. Alright, so behind this uh, black concrete, we'll add in three blocks long uh, polished blackstone brick walls 
Underneath that in the middle, it's going to have a dark oak fence gate like that. All right, and then we'll add in polished black stone brick slab right there. And then an upside down polished black stone brick stairs facing towards the front. And then a slab here. And we'll leave that alone. All right, so then we're going to connect uh, this part, this black concrete, all the way to the front. Cross like that. And then we'll add in black stone brick slab. And that's going to be all along the bottom of this here in the middle. And we're going to make this go all the way to the back part, just like so. All right, so next we'll add in polished black stone brick slabs on the top row of this black concrete all the way across. And then on top of that, we'll add in black concrete all the way across. Just like that. And then we'll add in polished black stone brick stairs upside down all the way across. Just like that. All right, so now we'll make the driving wheel. So we'll make a two by two black stone brick stairs. And then we'll add in black stone brick wall here, dark oak fence gate underneath. And then on top of the wheel, we'll add in two blocks wide, another brick fence just like that. Then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate, open that up on top of the wall towards the front just like that. And then we're going to make uh, three more of these wheels and same thing with the design around it. So I'm going to stack it right now. So we should have four of these wheels. Now once we get up to this point here, we're going to delete this fence gate, put back the andesite, and also delete this wall right there. And it says it's going to be a dark oak trapdoor underneath like that. So let's go back inside the cab, we'll add in a little more interior, so add in um, dark oak trapdoor here in the middle. Close that up. Top this at black concrete with a black stone button, like that. And then we'll delete this black concrete, add in a dark oak fence gate, open that up. And then an acacia button here on the side. Just like that. And we'll add in another dark oak slab. It's going to be right here in the middle. Just like that. Alright, and then we'll go to the side of this dark oak fence gate. Add in a gray concrete. Hopper. To the side of that. And then behind this we'll add three blocks wide dark oak fence gate. Open the one on the outer edge. Add in upside down, polished black stone brick stairs here, and a dark oak fence gate to the side of that. Then on top, we'll add in a polished black stone brick stairs like that. On top of the hopper, and then three blocks wide of slabs right on top, like so. And then we'll add in dark oak fence gate alongside this anvil. Make it two blocks long here. And we'll add in a polished black stone brick slab right here to the side. And then two blocks wide, another brick fence, just like that. Then we'll add in polished black stone brick slab here to the side. And then we'll add in a dark oak sign right here, side of that. And alongside is going to be three blocks tall of dark oak fence gates. And we'll open all of them up towards the inside. And then we'll add in a polished black stone brick stairs upside down underneath that sign. And then a slab underneath that, just like so. And then we'll add in a polished black stone brick wall behind that uh, stairs. And a dark oak slab, just like that. Then we'll add in a dark oak trap door underneath that slab. And now I'm going to add in the coupling rods here on the side. So let's go here over here. Uh, to the last driving wheel, the first half of it will add an iron trap door. And we're going to extend this all the way to where the cylinder is in the front. Then we'll add in a birch fence gate here, skip a block, another one, birch fence um, in between that. Polished diorite stairs facing towards the back. Two blocks long of iron trap doors. And then a polished diorite slab. On top of the stairs, we'll have a birch fence gate, and that will be opened up towards the front. And then we'll add in an upside down polished blackstone brick stairs right in front of it, just like that. And then over here is going to be polished blackstone brick slab. That skip, actually, you know, it's going to be a block above, but there's like a gap of air between that. And then we'll add in an end rod. That's going to be um, 
just like that. So it's all connected like so. Then we're going to add in a blackstone brick wall on top of stairs. Then iron trap door. And then three blocks wide of gray carpet, just like that. All right, so that's pretty much it for this side. So we'll copy everything that we did on this side and then build the other half. All right, so once we have both halves of the engine, let's work on this side. So for this side, we'll add in three more iron trap doors here. Then two iron trap doors down here. We want them on the same level. All right, and then we'll go over here and then add in three blocks long dark oak fence gate. And then a polished blackstone brick slab to side that fence, dark oak fence gate. And then three blocks long of end rod. So one, two, three. Then we'll add in polished blackstone brick stairs and it's gonna go all the way across to the front. Just like that. And then we'll add in gray carpet all the way on top. Like so. All right, so for the other side, let's go over there. And we'll add in three blocks long, dark oak fence gates here. So one, two, three like that. Then we'll go down here, add in two blocks long, dark oak fence gates. On top, we'll add in three iron trap doors. And then two polished blackstone brick walls. And then polished blackstone brick slabs on the top. Two blocks wide and two blocks wide on the bottom. Then we'll add in blackstone brick stairs all the way across, four blocks like that. And then we'll add in gray carpet that's going to go all the way across this top layer. Like so. Then we'll add in two blocks wide dark oak fence gates over here inside. And a polished blackstone brick slab right there. Then the other side we'll add in dark oak fence gates, three blocks long inside, so one, two, and three. And then we'll add in black carpet. Yes, we just fill that in. And around, just like that. All right, then we'll go over here on top. Let's add in a weather skeleton skull inside of this dome, just like that. And then we'll need that bell in the front. Now, the way I made this bell is sort of like using world edit. Um, but if you don't have world edit, you know, one thing you can do is use a barrier block, which is like an invisible block, and then you just place the bell on top. Or you can just, if you're in like pure vanilla, you could put the bell either over here like that, or you could put it on top just like that. Otherwise, you can't really place it in the exact same place because this is like sort of floating in air. So we'll just leave it like that for now. And that's how you're going to be building it in vanilla. All right, then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate here on the left-hand side. Open that up. And that should be pretty much it on how to make the engine. Now we're going to make the tender. So to make the tender, let's go back over here to this dark oak slab and we'll add in black concrete. And we're going to make it two blocks wide and 12 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Two blocks wide across. Now it has this white stripe, so I want to add in iron trap doors to the sides of that all the way across. Just like that, and in the back we'll add in another black concrete. Diagonally down, dark oak fence gate. And then a dark oak slab, polished black stone brick slab here. Upside down stairs, and a slab underneath that. All right. Then we'll skip block here, and then we'll add in, uh, I guess like a three by three of black concrete. Just like that. And as front of the tender, we'll add in three blocks tall, black concrete. And we're going to make the two sides so that they're all filled in. Alright, so it's filled in just like that. Then we'll go down over here at the back, and we'll add in gray concrete. Skip two blocks, add in another one. Then hoppers to the sides of the wheels. Then upside down, back to back, um, polished blackstone <laughs> brick stairs. Just like that. We'll go in the front of the tender. And we'll do pretty much the same thing, just the other way around. So two gray concrete spaced apart, two blocks. And then hoppers to sides, upside down. Polished blackstone brick stairs back to back. And then we'll add in dark oak 
bend skates in between for the axles of these wheels. And then in the spaces between the axles, just fill that in two by two, black stone brick slabs. All right, then we'll add in um, towards the back end, we'll make a three block long dark oak fence gates like this. And then we'll add in a three by three black stone brick slabs. And then we'll open up this fence gate on the edge towards it like so. Then we'll go to the back, add in three blocks tall dark oak fence gates, open them all up like that. Top end, we'll add in a stone button and then horizontally a chain block like that. Then we'll add in an oak button here at the bottom and then in black glass pane right here in the middle of this. All right, so then we'll go in the front of this. We'll add in um, polished blackstone brick stairs be facing towards the front like this. And we're gonna add in another one. So it's gonna be uh, sort of like a hook around like that, making an L shape. Then we'll add in four blocks of black concrete. So one, two, three, four. Then we'll add in polished black stone brick stairs facing the back like so. Then we'll add in another brick wall, black stone brick wall, and then dark oak fence gate uh, in front of that. Open that up with a black glass pane on top. Then two blocks wide, black stone brick slabs. Underneath that, we'll add in black concrete. And we're gonna make this black concrete, sorry if it's really hard to see with the shaders on. We're gonna make this go extend all the way to the back part. And then we'll add in just two blocks wide, dark oak trap doors over here. And then we'll skip a block, add in a black stone button here, right there in the middle. And then we'll make a three by three of coal blocks inside. So three by three, add in this black stone slab there and then a coal block down like that. Very nice. All right, so next we'll go down over here and we'll add in two blocks wide, dark oak trap doors, two blocks wide, black uh, carpet like that. And then black concrete, we'll make a two by two wall here and a dark oak trap door and we're gonna close that up like that. All right, then we'll go back onto this side and we'll line up where this fence gate is and punch a hole here in the middle of the tender. And we're gonna make it four blocks towards the front. So one, two, three, four like that. So it's a giant hole. And that's all we can do right now for this side of the tender. So we'll build the same thing on the other half. All right, so once we have both halves of the tender, it should look like this. So now we're gonna make the numbers here on the side. So that's gonna be uh, oak stairs facing the back inside the hole here, upside down facing the other direction, then right side up, and then a fence, an oak fence like that. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, just the other way around. So add in oak stairs, and then upside down oak stairs, and then right side up, and then an oak fence. Now inside this is gonna be a black concrete, so let's just fill that in. So just pretty much fill it in black concrete so that there is no gaping hole, so it should be all pitch black in there. Very good. And now we're gonna add in some detail for the coal on top. So we're gonna make an X shape with black stone pressure plates. Then add in two blackstone slabs on a diagonal like that. And then we'll go to the back and add in dark oak button here, kitchen button on top, oak button here in the middle, and then a dark oak fence gate right here. Open it up on the left hand side. All right, so that should be pretty much it on how to build Southern Railway 4501. Now we're gonna convert it if you do want to make uh, the Louisville and Nashville J3 class, the 1593. All right, so to do that, we're gonna replace the lantern in the front, change the slab into a wall like that. And then we're also gonna change uh, this bottom trap door into dark oak trap door. And we'll also change these bottom um, iron trap doors into dark oak. And we're gonna pretty much do that for uh, this whole row on the top end, just replace these trap doors as well as these ones underneath the cab area, just like that. 
And the other side, we'll just do the same thing over here with these. I have no idea why those things are opening now. And uh, just using the block replacer tool, which is like a world edit one. And here in the back, uh, you'll see the stripe here. We're going to turn that into these blackstone slabs. So they're all going to be changed up just like this into slabs so that they're a lot thicker. And I just use the iron trapdoor since it's it has the shape of the white stripe originally, but it should be thicker in the shape of the body. All right, so then we'll change this whistle here into a flower plot. And go right here, change the numbers. So uh, we'll delete these blocks here at the edges. And we'll add in oak fence gate. Open that up on the right hand side. The other side will have an oak fence. The other side will do the same thing, change this oak fence. And the other one's going to be oak fence gate. And then in the back here, we'll delete these two blocks. Add in um, two blocks wide. Oak slabs like that with black concrete inside. Filling in this hole. Then we'll go over here and add in three blocks long oak buns. Right at the top of the tender, other side, same thing. All right, now I'm going to add in the Hollywood dust on the tender. So to do that, go right over here and we're going to make two black concrete powders on a diagonal like this. Then underneath this fence gate, we'll add another one like that. And then we'll add in black wool. We're going to make upside down V shape here in the back. Another one underneath the stairs. And then we'll make an L shape here. Then we'll add black concrete powder to on a diagonal like so. And the other side, we're pretty much going to do the same thing. And uh, right over here, just add in two black concrete powders like this on a diagonal. And then make an L shaped black wool. Skip a block, black wool, and then black concrete powder underneath the fence. And then over here, it's going to be a black concrete powder. Get two on a diagonal. And then an upside down V shape of black wool. All right, so for this side, I made it a little bit different. I just added another block of black concrete powder right up there. All right, so yeah, that should be pretty much it on how to build the LNN uh, 1593 and the Southern Railway 4501, both in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And thanks a lot to Deadpool2438 for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If you do want to commission uh, trains for yourself, uh, I will leave a link to a video on how to do that in the description down below. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.